when you take players in and you, you treat them as their own, I mean, the, whether they've had great backgrounds or, or not great backgrounds, there's um, uh, a level of maturity that happens, you know, in those formative years of between 18 to 22 that, um, you know, we want to be there for and make sure that they're headed in the right direction. You know, if we're going to tell our players all the time that the, the, the single greatest motivating power in the, in the world is love and that we're going to have it spread throughout uh, our team, then, and I'm going to sit in a living room and uh, tell a parent or tell a, a recruit, I'm going to treat your player like my son, uh, then I'm going to treat your player or your 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 this player like my son. And uh, I hug my sons, I kiss my sons, I tell them I love them. Uh, I also punish my sons. Uh, there's also a, a lot of tough love that, that goes on in my house. But uh, I think, you know, it's a, it's a phrase that gets tossed around very frequently in college athletics and in, in recruiting especially. Uh, but it's one that's not really followed up on in terms of the time that coaches spend with their players as well as the investment and the love and the affection that they show them. I, I tell recruits all the time, you know, I've, I've got my ring box that kind of sits right in front of the couch in my office and um, there, there's a lot of rings and watches and all that stuff and I, I tell them all the time, you can flush them down the toilet uh, because the, the, the most rewarding thing for, for me as a coach is when former players come back and, and they've got their wife and their, their kid by their side and, and they've got a great job and, and the, the two probably biggest or most powerful words um, as a coach with former players is thank you. You know, and when they say thank you and, and they say, coach, I am a better husband or a better father or a better employee be, having gone through your program and uh, from the things that you've taught me, that's, you want to talk about, I mean, this warm feeling of, of pride and, and sense of accomplishment um, it's far exceeds any, any win that, that I've ever experienced.